I know a zebra. My name is Dr. Maria Frommer. I live in Morristown, New Jersey. And the zebra condition I'd like to discuss is called retroperitoneal fibrosis. Retroperitoneal fibrosis is a condition that is in the peritoneal cavity. So it's in the abdomen. It's caused by uh, inflammation, which leads to scarring. Many times that scarring is around the aorta or the kidney area. Uh, can be significant scarring and it can impair the function of the organs. And in a lot of cases, it's the function of the kidneys that is affected. In our case, we were fortunate that we had nephrostomy tubes placed. And during that time, the interventional radiologist discovered that they thought my husband had retroperitoneal fibrosis. Although the diagnosis wasn't made at that time, he made a referral. We went to Mayo Clinic and within a span of about six months, it was determined that uh, my husband had retroperitoneal fibrosis. Between two and three years, it could take to diagnose retroperitoneal fibrosis. I had never heard of retroperitoneal fibrosis. Keep in mind that I have been a practicing uh, nurse for 30 years and a nurse practitioner for about 20 years. My husband was in the hospital where I work and uh, it's, it's a major uh, university setting and they don't even treat it there. So it was pretty scary uh, that I had never heard of it. And most of the brilliant minds that I work with had heard of it, but had never treated it before. Like most rare disorders, retroperitoneal fibrosis can be very difficult to diagnose. I wish that uh, we could A, detect retroperitoneal fibrosis earlier because the earlier that you can detect retroperitoneal fibrosis, the more likely you are to go into remission. So what I really wish is that um, if you have an instinct that something is wrong and you're not getting the answers you know, to seek other help, use telehealth and leverage the technologies as well if you're not near a specialty uh, hospital that can help you with this diagnosis. Trust your instincts as well. I really appreciate the fact that Elsevier is focusing in on what we call zebra disorders, rare disorders, because I think it's important to bring awareness to uh, rare disorders. Uh, in our case, for example, no one in this area had really heard of retroperitoneal fibrosis, nor did they know how to treat it. So I feel like bringing awareness to rare disorders as a whole will also assist us in getting earlier diagnoses and of course earlier treatments which result in better outcomes. Thank you, Elsevier. To learn more, visit www.osmosis.org/zebra.